everyone, I'm delighted to welcome you to our virtual open event where you're going to see what Lockery has to offer school leavers interested in all things food. If like me, you want to combine an interest in food along with science, technology and business, then Lockery is definitely the place for you. There are courses from level 3 for school leavers with GCSEs to honours degrees. If you choose to stay on the learning ladder, you can study at master's level as well. Lockery is a happy and friendly place. There is a real sense of community here, which is lovely. It is a compact campus, easy to find your way around and set in beautiful grounds. The campus is located right at the centre of Northern Ireland, one mile outside the busy market town of Cookstown. It is only an hour away from most major towns and cities. Cookstown is everything a student might need and more. Lockery is internationally recognised for its world-class, high-tech learning facilities. All of the staff are really approachable, helpful and very experienced in their own areas of work. I am so proud to be following in the footsteps of the many graduates who have been mentored and encouraged by Caffrey staff over the years. Team Lockery makes sure we become the best we can be. I am very excited about the plans to enhance our teaching and student accommodation facilities which is planned for 2023. Things are pretty good as they stand, but the new developments will ensure that students have the state-of-the-art facilities at their fingertips. Things really couldn't get much better. Lockery has excellent industry linkages both nationally and internationally. We have the opportunity to participate in student exchange programmes in the United States or do work placements in Europe or further afield. There are also endless employment opportunities in the agri-food industry, both locally and globally. The one thing that Lockery ensures is that you, as a graduate, will be highly sought after, competent team player with lots of different career options. I am so glad I chose to study at Lockery. I hope you do too. Just imagine, this could be you next year, welcoming potential students to view the virtual event. Enjoy. Welcome to our virtual open event from Caffrey's Lockery Campus in Cookstown. My name is Shane McKinney and I'm the head of our food education programmes here at Lockery Campus. You're very welcome. Um, at today's event, we're going to provide you with all the information you need to know about our courses at Lockery Campus and also about the exciting range of careers that we can open up to you uh, in terms of employment within the very dynamic agri-food sector in Northern Ireland. Caffrey is the College of Agriculture, Food and Rural Enterprise. We have three campuses and from our Lockery campus in Cookstown we specialise in jobs most related to the food and drink manufacturing sector in Northern Ireland. We're the premier college in Northern Ireland for anyone interested in a career in the food and drink sector. From our modern well-equipped campus we deliver a wide range of um, food programmes from National Diploma Level 3 courses right the way through degrees through higher level and degree level apprenticeships and onto master's programmes as well. We have very, very high employment rates with 95% of our graduates progressing on to employment or further study within six months of graduation from our campus here in Cookstown. Our exceptionally high um, employment rate is reflective of the excellent links that we have with food employers within Northern Ireland. And that shows as well through our extensive bursary programme that we can offer our students here at Lockery Campus. It's also reflected through the involvement that industry has in study tours, factory visits, and also guest speakers on our programmes. Right across our comprehensive food technology, um, science, business and innovation programmes that we offer here from the campus. So please stay with us for the next 30 minutes or so and you'll find out all you need to know about our exciting range of courses. I'm joined today by Dr Gillian Stevenson and Gillian is our course director for our higher education programmes and Gillian's going to tell us more about the degrees that we have to offer from Lawry Campus. Hi Gillian, how are you? Gillian, I wonder, um, can we start off maybe by talking about the, the range of degree courses that we offer at Lockery Campus and tell us a little bit more about these courses. Okay, at Lockery we offer four higher education programmes from foundation degree level in food manufacturing and nutrition and then three BSc honours degrees, one in food technology, one in food innovation and nutrition and a food business management degree. The food technology and food innovation and, and nutrition degrees are more science orientated, um, whereas the business um, degree will look at the business functions along the supply chain. Very good. And Gillian, in terms of then, for those who are um, viewing our virtual open event today, what kind of subjects are relevant for entry onto these programmes? 
Okay, well, I should say that all three degrees are multidisciplinary um, and a broader range of subjects then are, are applicable, but we do require a science or a subject or a science equivalent. So any of your A-level sciences or your BTEC applied sciences or anything will um, allow entry. Um, but I should also point out that food science and nutrition is a relevant science equivalent, but it is not a requirement. Okay, and from that, Gillian, um, do you need to be studying on a food related course at school in order to, to get entry into one of these programs? No, it's equally um, open to any of the science subjects. You don't need to be doing food science and nutrition for to come onto the degree. Very good. So it could be a science, a technology, um, a business? Yes, or for the business degree, um, the entrance requirements is both science or business. So anybody that has already ha an interest in business and has maybe done A-level business can uh, then come on to the food business management degree as well. Very good. And of course, Gillian, our degrees, our higher education provision, it's in partnership with Ulster University. Yes, they're all Ulster validated degrees. So you will get an Ulster validated degree certificate at the end. Very good. Gillian, what about the actual the content of the courses? What can students expect to, to learn about? and find out about during their time of study? Some of the key subject areas that run through, I suppose, the three degrees and some of the main drivers in the industry at the minute are nutrition, driving the industry in terms of innovation and product development, but also um, packaging, sustainability, waste management, environmental. Then it's the food technology and food um, innovation and nutrition are, as I said before, are more science orientated and they're looking at how science reacts and the reaction of the foods to processing. Whereas the business people will look at some of the business functions along the supply chain, like sales, marketing, um, finance, procurement, and those sorts of functions. Gillian, I spoke a little bit earlier during the introduction about the excellent links we have with industry. Could you tell us a little bit more about, for example, placements, but also the bursary program we have on offer? Yeah, okay. So the industry is very much involved whenever we are developing all of our programs and they show their support then by offering placement. The degree programs can be three years or four years. So the student can decide to do a 48 week placement out in industry. But they importantly also offer support through the bursary program, which is going from strength to strength and this year we have 18 bursaries um, being offered out in the next few weeks. So £18,000 going out to the students, which is always welcomed. Yeah, and, and I think that, that, that helps to provide a really competitive age in terms of that link and relationship that we have with industry. And whenever um, students complete and do move into the world of work, what types of roles are our graduates taking up within the sector? Well, we're really ensuring that the graduates are equipped with the knowledge and skills to go in at managerial level um, and to excel in those areas. So some of them will be going to new product development managers, technical managers, research and development managers, um, production, environmental, uh, sales and marketing. So a wide range of graduate roles available. Very good. And that's reflective then of the content that we have on um, those four uh, degree programmes that stretch right across technology, science, innovation, business management and nutrition. And of course, hitting those topics of sustainability, supply chains, all of those things that are really re relevant at the moment. Um, tell me before we move on then, in terms of for anyone who wants to find out a bit more about these programmes and also about the opportunity maybe to come onto campus, where can they go and find out about all of that information? So there's a lot more information on our website at www.caffrey.ac.uk where there's course information but also you can um, see that there will be camp campus tours organised in the next number of weeks which you can book and also taster days will be coming up as well. Okay, Gillian for now thanks very much, lots of really interesting information. So, um, Gillian there has spoken about our higher education provision here at Lahore. Um, four programmes, a foundation degree and then three honours degree programmes covering that broad range of disciplines that are relevant to the food and drink industry with modern, contemporary, cutting edge curriculum, so the content of the programmes itself, but also delivered on our um, campus here with world class facilities to hand as well. So thanks very much to Gillian for that. We're going to catch up with Gillian later on. We're now going to hear from one of our current degree students, um, Jack Coulter, and Jack's going to tell you about his um, experience of studying and life at Lawry. So I hope you enjoy this short video. 
Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a final year degree student here at Lockery. I came to Lockery after studying A levels at Enniskill and Royal Grammar School. My favourite module so far at Lockery has been the product development module we did with Moy Park. They came in and sent us a design brief, and we had to make a product. We designed a complete product from packaging, design, to company name, to everything. And it was a great opportunity to work in a group and to develop skills I didn't think I had, especially talking to industry leaders like Moy Park. For the third year of my degree, I went on placement. Now, originally I was supposed to go to America to study in Michigan State University as part of the exchange here at Lockery, but unfortunately COVID had a different plan. So instead I got a placement in Derry Lynn at Crust and Crumb Bakery. The role I was in was a product developer, but it was a lot wider than that and I got to do so much. And I was never treated like a student, I was treated like an actual employee, which I loved, and I came away with a lot of confidence and I was able to grow in myself and I think it's a very important part of the degree because I think I'm a lot more employable now. During my time here at Lockery, I have stayed in the student halls. I've really enjoyed it. It's given me an opportunity to meet people and build friendships that I wouldn't have had if I just was going to class. But it's also given me the opportunity to do more things from nights out to the events we've organised, like Pancake Night. For me, my favourite has been organising football. Uh, we have sports pitches here and we play a five-a-side game every now and then and it's very competitive but it's very fun. We hope to have a game against the lecturers soon which the students do not want to lose and I know the lecturers are the same. The one piece of advice I would give is to apply for Lockery. Currently in the world of Brexit and Covid we don't know what's happening and jobs aren't easily come by. The food industry is going strong and in Northern Ireland it's massive. And I know from my placement year that the opportunity there for growth and development is huge. I'm looking to go into product development but I know that there's so many open doors for me and I could do so much more and I can do whatever I want. And very little degrees and very little jobs give you that and that's what Lockery gives you. Thanks very much to Jack for his virtual tour, his um, perspective of being a current student at Lochry campus and his experience, so um, great to see that. Uh, and really useful for anyone considering a, a course at Caffrey and of course a career in the food industry. I'd now like to introduce Nicola Kerr and Nicola is our course director for our further education programmes and our apprenticeship programmes as well. Hello Nicola, how are Hello, you today? Um, Nicola, um, just to start off, um, so for anyone who's watching our program today, um, and if they're studying their GCSEs, what options have we got to offer then? So after GCSE, Shane here at Lochery Campus, we have two BTEC Level 3 National Diploma programmes. Um, one is a National Diploma in Food Science and Manufacturing Technology, and the second one is a National Diploma in Food Nutrition and Health. Some of the key features of these programmes are that they are two years in duration and include a 12-week paid work placement between years one and year two. There are no fees for these programmes. Um, they are assessed through continuous assessment with no exams. And also they are equivalent to three A-levels, which means that they attract UCAS points to those learners completing them and open up a pathway to higher education study. Very good, very good. So um, a couple of really important points in there in terms of their equivalent to three mm -hmm. A-levels. Um, they're an excellent option after GCSEs, um, but they also then can present an opportunity for progression into higher education. And what about the content of the programmes then, Nicola? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So Shane, these exciting and very modern um, Level 3 programmes have an excellent curriculum where learners will look at or, or will study a wide range of subject areas, including food science, technology, sustainability, food nutrition, um, and innovation as well. So there are 18 units on each programme and across those 18 units there are lots, there's lots and lots of learning and lots of different and current subject areas being covered. And Nicola, for those younger people who are thinking about maybe their study options after GCSE, mm -hmm. can they come and actually stay on campus? You know, what about our residential facilities and of course our support services for younger people that are coming to campus? Yes, Shane, so on campus we have residential accommodation for up to 95 learners. So we have, so anybody thinking of coming to study at Lawry does have the option to stay on campus from a Sunday until a Friday. 
We also have a dedicated student services manager who looks after ca the campus um, and who offers pastoral support to the students along with their dedicated year managers. In addition to that, we have a student support officer on site as well. So there's lots and lots of support there for, for the students. The accommodation has residential support team. So they, they be on campus in the evenings and overnight to provide support to the students. Um, and it really pr provides, I suppose, a great environment for the students to mix with each other and to meet students, not just from their own programme, but from across the range of programmes that we offer here at Lawry Campus. Very good. So it's a safe and very enjoyable yes. way of staying and studying mm -hmm. at Lochry at the same time. Very good. Nicola, of course, you have responsibility for our apprenticeship programmes as well. So can you tell us about our degree apprenticeship and our mm -hmm. higher level apprenticeship programme? So Shane, for those learners who have completed our national diploma programme, um, and also for those who maybe had decided to go on and do A-levels but would still like to come to, to Lochry afterwards, we have a degree apprenticeship pathway. And within that pathway, we have a level five higher level apprenticeship in food and drink manufacture, of which the core qualification is a foundation degree, which is validated by Ulster University. Mm. For those who complete the level five higher level apprenticeship pathway, they can then progress to the level six degree apprenticeship. These apprenticeship programmes are earn as you learn. So you're working with an employer whilst studying for a higher education qualification. They are also have, are fully funded by the Department for Economy, which means that there are no fees with them. And they're a very attractive way of, as, as I've said, learning um, on the job, getting experience with your employer and also getting a higher education qualification. Learners coming on to these programmes can come on from a number of different pathways. As I've said, they can come on from our Level 3 BTEC National Diploma programmes, but also they can come on from A-levels. So if you're studying for two A-levels and have GCSE, English and Maths, this could be an option for you. For those who are interested in our degree apprenticeship pathway, I would welcome you to contact me. My details are on the website and I can provide further information regarding those programmes and answer any questions in relation to them. So degree apprenticeships, Nicola, these days, they offer a, an excellent route to not only achieving your honours degree qualification, mm -hmm. but also earn as you learn, as you say. But what about some of the, the, the topics that are going to be covered within that? Mm -hmm. How relevant are they to um, the food industry today? So our degree apprenticeship pathway, Shane, has been developed or co-created, I suppose is what we call it, with the industry. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very relevant. It is a very current and a very modern curriculum. And throughout both the level five and the level six pathway, learners will study a range of different modules that are very, very relevant in today's industry, including food safety, um, forecasting and planning, robotics and automation, sustainable supply chains, le leadership and technical management. So it really is a very exciting and current curriculum. Very good. So uh, that's really interesting to hear about that opportunity for a degree apprenticeship for those for which full-time higher education, mm -hmm. um, they feel there's a better route or a more attractive route to them and they can follow that, which is excellent to hear. Um, Nicola, for anyone that's interested in either the um, uh, level three, the diploma provision, or the higher level apprenticeship mm -hmm. and degree apprenticeship, where's the best place to go and find out information? Shane, there's lots of information on our website for both our further education food options and our degree apprenticeship pathway. So I would direct people initially to the website. Once you see there the course information that's available, there are also contact details for myself there as well. And I would welcome people to phone or, or email me for further information and we can have a chat um, about those courses. Nicola, for now, thanks very much. Lots of really useful information there. We're going to catch up with Nicola later on during the event. But now that we've spoken to both Gillian and Nicola, you can appreciate the breadth of courses that we have on offer here and the range of uh, um, different modes that we have. So for example, we've got the full-time courses, we've got opportunities for post-GCSE, uh, opportunities for uh, after A-levels, um, progression and links between those, but also the excellent links that we have with industry as well. So we've heard lots about our courses, but now let's find out a little bit more about the excellent technical facilities that we have at Lochry. Um, and one of our food technologists, Janice McNutt, has recorded an excellent short virtual tour of our technical facilities, so I hope you enjoy this. Set in the historic Lochry Estate in the heart of Mid-Ulster, our facilities at Lochry campus are anything but old. 
We have designed our facilities to demonstrate the latest innovations in technology, processing and packaging to businesses operating in the food and drink sector and to equip our students with the latest skills and knowledge needed to give them the competitive edge in today's fast-moving industry. The Food Technology Centre, our purpose-built food innovation centre and our internationally recognised food packaging centre form the core of our campus. Along with the chemistry and microbiology laboratories, it is in these centres where the innovation and learning really happens. Our ongoing investment and drive to be the best means that every student and every business we support has access to cutting edge modern facilities. Our unsurpassed links with the food and packaging sectors in Northern Ireland help us to keep track of what these industries need to develop skilled and talented people, as well as innovative, nutritious and diverse products in dairy, meat, bakery, brewing, fruit and vegetables. That's why we've partnered with the Northern Ireland Technology Centre at Queen's University Belfast to establish a robotics and automation laboratory at Lockery. Using technology from aeronautics and automotive industries, we can visualise and demonstrate how food production processes can be improved and enhanced using robotics and automation. By integrating this new technology into our education programmes, CAFRI students not only develop a detailed understanding of the production of safe and high quality food, but also what the future of food manufacture will look like. Of course, our facilities are only as good as the people who are using them, and our team at Lockery are the best. Our technologists, lecturers and scientists are all industry experienced and qualified to help students and businesses get the most from their time at Caffrey. The work of our food packaging technologists has recently been recognised by the World Packaging Organisation for our contribution to sustainable packaging solutions. We're continuing to invest in equipment that will keep us at the forefront of sustainable development. Whether it's new product development in bakery, sensory analysis for a new meat product, packaging in the latest dairy snack or reformulating ready meals, we have the facilities and equipment to make the most out of homegrown produce and resources, transforming ideas into reality. Over the next few years, we will also be transforming our campus here in Cookstown. We are investing in new state-of-the-art science and technology facilities and student accommodation that will guarantee Lockery's place as the centre for food innovation, learning and knowledge transfer for many years to come. If you are hungry for a rewarding career in our dynamic and thriving food sector or are a business wishing to innovate, add value and grow, then we have the expertise to make it happen for you. Please contact us so we can make this happen together. Thanks very much to Janice for that excellent virtual tour of our facilities here at Lockery Campus. I think it really does give a, a better flavour of what we have on offer. Um, I'm now joined by one of our graduates, uh, David Hughes from Lakeland Dairies. Welcome David, I'm delighted that you've been able to join us today and take part in our virtual um, open event. Um, David, as I say, is a graduate from Caffrey and David's going to talk to us about his career to date, um, what attracted him to his degree here, but also his aspirations for his career. So David, you're very, very welcome. Hello, Shane. I wonder if we could start off, could you tell us a little bit about your, your current role in the industry at the moment? Um, so I currently work for a company called Lakeland Dairies. Um, I am in a position of environmental manager for the site uh, in Balrachine and Korean. Um, I joined the company in a placement in 2010, um, come back to my final year um, and I've been with the company since 2012 when I graduated and I'm still there to this very day. Very good, very good. And maybe winding back to those days then, David, in terms of um, when you were starting off, what influenced your decision then to study at Caffrey? Um, the main thing for me was the, the success rate and the employability. So the, that 95% success rate of getting employment within six months was a big, big, big thing for me personally. Because yeah. um, the main reason we're studying, we all want to get a job. Um, I, really I really enjoyed that aspect of it uh, and the, the staff and the campus and the facilities, as well as the past students I've spoke to in the open nights. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a main, main 
uh, main dealing driver for me that uh, I enjoyed it. And did you come to um, Caffrey after your A-levels and, and what, what programme did you go on to then, David? I came from A-levels A uh, and done the food uh, business mm -hmm. course um, degree and I really enjoyed the aspects of it where it's very wide from, um, from finance to sales and marketing to waste management, uh, environmental section of it. Now it was quite a diverse first course. Very good. And on that, so that food business management program, were there any particular aspects of that, David, that you, you, you really enjoyed and you've been able to bring into, you know, the roles that you've enjoyed in your career to date? Um, well, I quite enjoyed the environmental side, which was quite new in my time, which is obviously very important now, sustainability. Environmental is nearly a, a buzzword that people are no longer impressed by. Right. They expect it, especially in the food industry. Um, and it's one of the main drivers for me that I want to push my career further. Um, with Lakeland Dairies in that sort of that sector um, and I've learned so much and CAFRI was a good founding uh, found block for me to get onto that career ladder with everything from quality management to the technical to the packaging you name it we covered it. Very good that's that's really interesting the range of the, the breadth of subjects that you covered there and even then um, you, you mentioned placement you, did you have the opportunity during placement then to get a good bedding in the industry but also learn to develop some new skills? I did. I did everything from um, when I'm a placement at Ballarat. Shane cited everything from IT, a wee bit of IT. Um, I was in the quality team. Um, learned the lovely HACCP, which the law students all do now, and BRC audits. Uh, and on the rare occasion, I helped out deliver milk whenever we were short of staff. Bit of everything. Bit of everything. Very good. Very good. And I'm sure, David, it wasn't all study. So, what about the social side of things? What was life like as a student? Was it enjoyable, sociable? Good fun. Some of the very best years of my life. Um, I reflect back on uh, brilliantly. Um, a lot of friends for life, as some of them work colleagues now. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big highlights for me was the student president term, um, as well as uh, Pubsy Bear for children in need, um, as well as a few Halloween parties, fancy dress in between. Very good. So, fun times. Fun times. Very good. And what about, I mean, you're in a very important role at the moment within Lakeland Dairies and environmental sustainability, environmental management, it's so important for all of us at the moment. Can you tell us a little bit more, David, about the type of role that you have and, and the importance of that role within the food sector in Northern Ireland? Um, so one of the big things for me currently is um, we do a lot of legal compliance. So obviously environmental is very, very important from a, a compliance point of view. But as well as a continuous improvement point of view, trying to drive energy costs down, um, I actually manage a team that look after the anaerobic digestion facility on site, where we use our own waste to generate renewable electricity for the site, as well as uh, generate our own heat, which is used for production, um, off obviously offsetting the, the need for natural resources, um, as well as a, a wastewater treatment plant facility, which we're currently in the stages of upgrading to a new multi-million pound facility, for the goal of being well, for every drop of water that we use in the dairy industry, we'll recycle it, clean it up, and reuse again in the, uh, in the factory. So we're having less of a need to reliance on spring water or mains water um, in the area. So D David, it's really clear then that you know, your, um, your qualification from CAFRI and the way that it's introduced you into a, a range of roles within the sector, it's, it's allowing you to play a really, really important part in terms of sustainability within Northern Ireland at the moment. Yes, my, my degree at CAFRI and, uh, and Lockley in particular has given me that option to diverse nearly into different areas and find this one particular degree where I can, do you want to go down the packaging route, do you want to go down the technical route, the sales route, the managerial route, or in this case, the waste management environmental route. And it, it's given me that option. It's opened that door for me in the agri-food industry. And of course, um, Lockery also has a very, very strong reputation as well in terms of the knowledge and skills in our food packaging centre that we have on campus as well. Did you have some experience of that when you were a student here? Yes, I did, um, and uh, with uh, Ron Gardner um, especially um, at Lockery, and he's been a great help for us a minute. Obviously, the new thing at the minute is plastic tax, That's which right. is the agri food industry has been hit on this year, this this month of April, and Ron's been great as a you know a phone call, some advice if maybe even in the industry when I'm no longer a student. Very good, very good. So. Uh, David, as we round up then, you know, for anyone watching today, you know, is there any advice that you would have for someone, they're approaching the end of whether it's GCSEs or A-levels at school, they're thinking of their options, what advice would you have for them? And the one piece of advice that I got all them years ago when I was a student, when I was looking to pick my um, courses at UCAS was that the reason I came to CAFRI was one, the job success rate, and two, it's an industry that, you know, you always need to eat. 
So whenever food runs out, none of us will be here. So for me, that was nearly, oh, hold on a minute, there, it's a job for life, really, if you want. You can have your pick, all the jobs uh, and all the services that play a part in putting that food on the, on the plate, just not necessarily cooking it. But there's, there's all behind the scenes from the sales side, the finance side, technical side, packaging and procurement, waste environmental, you name it, it's there. And Caffrey was a great uh, opening the door avenue to get that career on the ladder for me. And that's a, one piece of best advice I give to any student plan today. David, thanks very much for coming along today and talking so openly about your role and, uh, and also what influenced you to, to make that choice of Caffrey at the start, but also the springboard that is presented to you. Yes. And of course, um, we're all grateful for you and people that, like you that are working in the industry at the moment that are doing fantastic work on environmental sustainability as well, because that's the direction of travel for all of us. So David, thanks very much for your time today. Thank you, and thanks for coming along. So um, it was great to hear from David there in terms of his experience as a graduate uh, coming through Lochry, but also in terms of the really dynamic range of roles he's had and the really important role that he has at the moment. And of course, um, that gateway can be opened up for you as well if you come to Lochry and study in one of our food programmes as well. So that's really good to find out. We're going to move on now to hear from one of our final year students, Ryan Mulholland. And Ryan has recorded uh, a short virtual tour of what's to actually what it's like to live and stay on campus uh, from the perspective of one of our students. So I hope you enjoy Ryan's virtual tour. Hi, welcome to Lockery. My name is Ryan Mulholland. I'm a student on the Food Business Management degree. I'm going to take you on a tour of campus so you can see where we study, live and play. While some students choose to travel to college every day, I have been staying in Hall's residence since I was 16. Living on campus is a great way to make friends. The Food Technology Centre, or as we call it, the FTC, is the main student learning facility. It's where a lot of our lectures take place as well as hands-on learning in the processing areas or the innovation kitchens. Coffee Dog is a great place to meet up and grab a coffee or snack during the day and it's right beside the library which is handy too. The library is open each day and has a great selection of journals and books relevant to our courses as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. There's also a couple of computer suites and quiet rooms for tutorials and one-to-one -one work. I know when I was doing the group project last year we used the library a lot. It's everything you need. The science building is home to the microbiology and chemistry laboratories. We use the Conference and Recreation Centre to stay in shape. There's a brilliant fitness suite with the usual multi-gym equipment. The main hall is used for indoor football, badminton, zimba and circuit training. So there's no excuse not to get fit while you're here. If you're feeling really keen, you can use the outdoor gym equipment or head off for an adventure on the campus-owned mountain bikes. At Shannon Hall, you'll meet the residential support team. They're fantastic, really friendly and helpful. The accommodation manager is Judith Mullen. She is on hand to help with any issues or queries you may have. I am the president of the Student Representative Council. We work closely with the residential support team to arrange lots of activities for all the students. Student safety is top priority. The residential support team stay on site through the night along with our estate team. Help and support is available for us 24 hours a day. The TV room provides a social hub for the students. It's where we hang out, play pool and snicker, and enjoy a bit of crack. The Wi-Fi is really good across halls. Most of the students have their own laptop or in the room or in the library. There is also access to a computer suite in halls, which is handy for last minute deadlines. As SRC president, my team and I take the lead on organising student socials. It's important that there's fun to be had outside the lectures too. Whether it's a social night out, shopping in Belfast, or a trip to the Ice Bowl, we aim to suit all interests. We also put the fun into fundraising, with charities benefiting from our bed pushes, spinathons, and even the odd skydive. The Riverside Restaurant is the main place to eat on campus. It's open from 8 in the morning to 6 at night, and there's a great range of food available. If you have any special dietary requirements, the team will happily sort you out with whatever you need. The chefs are also great at doing theme nights like Halloween or Valentine's Day, which is always good fun. There are 80 bedrooms in Shannon Hall spread over three wings. There are single bedrooms with a shared bathroom. The rooms are cosy and comfortable and we can bring in our own stuff to make it feel more like home. 
If you don't feel like eating in the restaurant, each floor has its own kitchen where we can make snacks whenever we want. I must say, I do love living on campus. It's maybe much more independent and offered me the freedom to do my own thing. It is pretty easy to find your way around campus. It's a beautiful and safe place to be with lots of paths and green spaces to enjoy. It's such a friendly place to be too. I know I'll be sad to say goodbye when my studies end. I would highly recommend Life at Lockery to you. So thanks very much to Ryan for recording that short virtual tour. It was great to see his perspective of life as a student, as a current student at Lawry campus. So thanks very much, Ryan. Um, remember, you can submit your questions, so use the comments function. Uh, you can submit some questions and we'll get back to you with whatever additional information you require in addition to what we already have on the website. So please feel free to submit your questions there. Um, we're going to move on now to maybe consider a couple of the frequently asked questions uh, and queries that we deal with um, when people are thinking about maybe coming to study at Caffrey. And I'm joined again by Nicola and Gillian. Uh, Gillian, if I can start with you first in terms of um, our student accommodation and our residential services. Um, we spoke with Nicola earlier on, particularly in relation to maybe those that are coming after their GCSEs to study and stay at Lawry campus. But can you tell us a little bit more about our residential facilities and also maybe a bit about the social life but also the student support services that we have here? Okay, well at Lockery we have um, accommodation for up to about 95 students available. Um, it's very competitively priced and the students normally stay from Sunday to Thursday. Um, within that, probably of more interest to the higher education students is very active student um, council, um, which organises lots of social events and lots of charity events and so on. So a fully active um, student council, but that's also supported with a fully trained support team. And we also have a dedicated services manager and student support manager on the campus as well. Very good. So campus as well. Very good. So there is a comprehensive support package yes. then for any student that's coming to stay on campus and of course we've got the facilities and the res residential facilities and the catering as well to go along with um, everything that they require. That's really good to hear. Um, Nicola, I wonder, uh, we talked a little bit earlier about you know um, our facilities, we've heard from some of the students in terms of taking us on a tour, a virtual tour around the campus, but what opportunities are there for um, those that are interested um, those that are leaving school, parents, guardians, to come and visit the campus. So Shane, over the coming weeks and months we have a number of different events planned that will allow those who are interested in coming to study at the campus and their family members to visit the campus. So uh, we have campus tours which are now live on the website and for anyone who would like to come and visit the campus you can go on and book a campus tour for some stage over the next few weeks. We're also planning applicant taster days towards the end of March and the start of April. But I should stress that once we contact our applicants to come along to those events, if it, we will also advertise them on our social media channel, Discover Caffrey. And anyone who is still considering coming to study at Lochery, whether it's post GCSE or post A level, will also get the opportunity to uh, attend those events. After the taster events and after Easter, we're going to have um, some virtual applicant events as well which will offer the opportunity to those who maybe have already visited the campus or haven't had an opportunity to visit on the dates that we have planned to um, join us virtually on an evening and ask any questions and find out more about the programmes. If you have applied to study for one of our further education or higher education courses or you are thinking about doing that, I would strongly recommend uh, the campus tours or the taster day because that will give you an opportunity to meet the staff, to find out about career opportunities, to meet our current students and to chat to our current students about life and study at Lochry. And it will also give you the opportunity to engage in some workshops and see our facilities as well. Very good. So that's a really important point that um, we're going to have these events over the next number of weeks and months to allow you to come in, mm -hmm. meet the students, meet the staff, find out more about the facilities, but also be able to walk around and get a better sense and feel for what we have to offer. So 
key point is then to look on the website for all of that information. Yes, keep up to date um, with information on our website and also probably follow Discover Caffrey on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well because there will be lots and lots of information on them about upcoming events. Great, Nicola, thanks very much. So thanks uh, very much to both um, Nicola and Gillian for helping us to answer some of those questions. Um, I'm going to move on now to maybe cover some of the key points, some of the things that we've really focused on today. Um, and, you know, the first of those was a really good point that David made about the excellent careers that there are within the food and drink industry in Northern Ireland. 95% of our graduates go on to employment uh, or further study within six months of graduation, an exceptionally high employment rate. And that's reflective of CAFRI's excellent links that we have with the food industry. And that shows itself through our bursary programme, but also the extensive range of involvement that the industry has in the delivery of our programmes. Not only co-designing, as we talked about earlier on, and co-creation, but also that involvement in terms of study tours and factory visits and guest speakers, and all of those different things that they help to facilitate on our food business management or food technology or innovation or nutrition programs right the way from our national diploma level three programs through our degree provision uh, of course our higher level apprenticeship and degree apprenticeship and right the way through to our masters which you'll find more about online as well. Um, our industry links there really are second to none but our facilities are also second to none as well and that's in terms of not only the um, food processing and manufacturing and innovation facilities, but also our chemistry laboratory, our microbiology laboratory, and our food packaging technology center that we have on campus. And we su provide support to the industry on a, on a very, very broad range of issues from the campus here. It's really important to um, acknowledge some of the cutting edge curriculum and content that we include within our courses as well. So robotics and automation, sustainability, supply chains, leadership and leadership skills within the food industry as well. We cover all of those really important points. And Gillian made a really important point earlier on as well. Is you don't need to be studying on a GCSE or an A level that's directly related to food. You can be on a subject maybe related to science, technology, business, nutrition and of course food, but all of those offer, offer an option into a study route at Caffrey and to Lochry campus. So it's really important to um, make that point. On graduation from Lochry campus, David made another really important point as well, is that you will have the skills and the knowledge and experience that employers really want. So you've got that competitive edge against counterparts. And of course, all of the information that you require about our programs. They're available on our website, but importantly, we're offering you the opportunity to come onto the campus and meet and talk to us and find out more and see for yourself about exactly the range of careers and options that we can offer to you. So for those of you who have already applied, please keep an eye on your email because you're going to receive an invitation to come in and meet us and talk to the staff, talk to the students, but also to get a better flavour and taste of the facilities that we have here at Lockery Campus. For those of you who are about to apply, um, please do make the call, visit the website, send a message into our chat function there and we'll get back to you but would really welcome the opportunity to talk to you about and tell you more about the options that we have for you. So it's thanks to Gillian and Nicola and David for coming along today and talking to me about um, everything that we can offer you at Lochry Campus and a thanks also to everyone who recorded their short virtual tours of the campus. Remember to follow us on Discover Caffrey visit our website, but also call our free phone number to find out more about everything we have to offer. And finally, um, we've got a short video now that captures very, very neatly some of the key staff that you're going to meet during your time at Lochry Campus. These are the people that are going to make your experience at Lochry so rewarding, so fulfilling and so enjoyable. So thanks for now and I look forward to welcoming you soon to Lochry Campus. Goodbye. Caffrey staff, supporting you to achieve your potential. Hello, I'm a food lecturer and teach on Level 3 and Apprenticeship programmes. My job involves teaching theory in the classroom as well as practicals in the Food Technology Centre. There's a great sense of community here at Lockery and the teaching team work very closely to support student learning. We get to know our students really well and are on hand to help if needed.
As a student support officer, I help students who have specific learning needs. I try to make the transition from school to college life as smooth as possible and have the support in place to help them complete their qualification. I usually meet the students before they start their course and agree a bespoke programme of support. They may need some extra time during exams or the allocation of support tutors. I am also the leading safeguarding officer for CAFRI and work in partnership with all staff to ensure that learners receive a high level of pastoral care. Hi, I manage the Food Technology Centre and the Food Innovation Centre, which are two of the learning resources here at Lockery. My team of technicians deliver a wide range of student practicals that are a key part in all the courses. These practicals can range from new product development in the kitchens, to sensory analysis, to the production of foods such as burgers, ice cream or bread. We all really enjoy sharing our passion for food and it is great that the students are so engaged in their learning. Hi, I'm a lecturer in Food Science and Chemistry at Lockery with a specialism in Bakery and Brewing. I really love teaching and I'm privileged to meet all the students at some stage of their journey through Lockery. Part of my job involves managing the chemistry facilities on campus, which I really enjoy as I get to share my passion for science with students. I think Lockery is a great place to work and study and everyone is very friendly. Hello, I'm the Student Services Manager at Lockery Campus. Along with the residential support team, I'm responsible for managing student accommodation and pastoral care. We're available in the evenings and overnight to make sure that everyone stays safe and well. We organise a weekly programme of evening activities to support and help you make friends and settle into college life. Your welfare and safety is our priority. Thank you.